I see by your job application you've scored six million on the video game Munchman. Yeah. And I see you shot down two billion aliens from the planet Mongo. Yeah. You are good at computer games. So what do you know about computers? If you're going to spend your time playing video games, why not play them on something that can also teach you about computing? Get a Commodore 64 or VIC-20. It's tough to grow up in a computer age without learning about computers. When you pinged your first Pong, you were being prepared for something. When you downed your first Martian, when you ate your first power pill, you were being prepared for something far greater. Because those game machines were early versions of computers. And what you were being prepared for was a real version of a computer. The Commodore VIC-20. Games like you've never seen before. But more important, true computing. Commodore VIC-20. A real computer for the price of a toy. There are those who worry that video game playing can become obsessive. At Commodore, while we think that's a little extreme, increasing your game scores may not always increase your IQ. So Commodore's games come in a different package, a full-fledged computer, the VIC-20, that allows your mind to expand into the thousands of things a computer can do, in addition to playing games. There are two kinds of teenagers today. One strives to rack up 30 million points on video games. The other finds it challenging to invent his own game. One depends on somebody else's imagination. The other on his own. One owns a video game machine. The other has a Commodore VIC-20 home computer. But they do have one thing in common. Someday, both will be trying to get into college. <laughs> <laughs> 